Hello, hello. How are you? Let me know when you come on. I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. I'm the owner and founder of Decoupage Queen, um, based in the United States in Atlanta, Georgia. I am, uh, we are the distributors for Pentart in the United States. And so if you don't know me, that's who I am. I'm super excited to be here. But let me know when you come on. Make sure to say hello. Let me know where you're uh, watching from. Um, I hope everybody is doing well on this Tuesday. Um, let's see. Uh, today we're going to be doing a back to school project. Hi, Miriam. How are you? Um, we're going to be doing a composition notebook. And let me just show you an example of what that is. I don't know if you guys have these everywhere in the world, but here in the USA, it's these things. These are very common, just these black and white notebooks. Hi, Jill. Um, that students use to write down for various subjects and whatnot. Um, so it's just pretty basic, these composition books. Um, and we're going to be decorating one and making it a little bit special. Um, so make sure to say hello. Uh, let's see, Jill, I know where you're from. You are in um, United Kingdom and uh, Miriam. I think you're in Texas. Hello, Baretti. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, since I'm live, I'm just going to share this to my page real fast. Uh, bear with me one moment. There we go. Okay. Hi, Linda. You guys, so we have one hour, um, and we're going to be working with some new decoupage queen papers today. Uh, from our fall release, which were, these papers are brand new. They were just released last week. So I'm super excited to share them with you. Um, haven't seen very many projects yet with these papers. Um, so let's turn our camera down. Let's get started. And I will show you what, what I'm thinking. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see, I'm gonna just make this a tad bit bigger. There we go, all right. Okay, so I have already done a little bit of homework and prepped this. Again, it was just a, um, it's just a black and white notebook. And I've painted it white because what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate the cover. Uh, and then once we're done with it, the cover off camera I'll probably do the back too but I'm going to focus on the front today and we're going to be doing a little bit of a musical composition this is one of the new papers called Le June background um, and it is a complement to this paper which is called Le June so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using this paper but we're actually going to be making it look a little bit like this um, the problem with this paper, though, if I were to try to fit the whole thing on here, it the images are just slightly too big, <clears throat> too big for my notebook. So I'm going to be adding some more mixed media, mixed media elements to make it look and feel like this one. But we're going to start with the background. So um, I love the um, piano keys over here. So we're going to be taking advantage of those. Um, the sheet of music, etc. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And all we're going to do is we're going to decoupage this onto the cover as is. And of course, we're using all Pentart products today. So let me know how you guys are doing. What are you guys up to on this Tuesday? Is anybody working on anything fun? I hope you're doing well, staying creative. Let me know what projects you have in the queue. Um, and what's new? Are you guys affected at all by back to school? So I know my kids are using these little notebooks um, uh, this year. And 
uh, I just thought it would be kind of fun for one of them to have this and take it to school as kind of a decorative, you know, these things can be so boring and we lose our little personalities. <laughs> hey, Kimberly, thank you for joining. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so yeah, so we're just going to get this on here and then we're, we'll start building around it a little bit. I think I'm going to use a little bit of modeling paste through a stencil as well. Uh, waiting for new products to arrive. All right. Decapagina witches hat. Ooh, that's fun. Now yeah, those are sometimes my favorite projects is those Halloween projects. I'm thinking about, I was thinking about um, doing a couple of pumpkins in the um, pumpkin spice floral paper. That's on my agenda for sure. Or the fruit punch floral. Um, so, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little napkin uh, on the inside because I don't want to get, I don't want uh, to get glue on my um, notebook pages. So I'm going to like block off my pages here with a little bit of napkin so I don't stick down to my notebook sheets. There we go. So I did the same thing when I painted it white um, and that'll prevent them from seeping through to the other side. This cover is a little bit thin, but by the time we're done with it, with all the stuff it's gonna be, it will transform to something pretty thick. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm using. This is the Pentart Decoupage Varnish and Glue in matte. This is my favorite. So this is what I'm doing. A Studio 54. Ooh, that sounds fun. I love that. That sounds like a lot of fun. All right, so let's get this down. We're going to start with this background. This is Lejeune background again. Um, and it sort of sets the tone for our musical themed notebook. Um, I did do two coats of white acrylic primer on here, you guys, just so you know how I treated the surface before we started. I did do two coats um, of the primer. Um, I probably could have done three, but running a little short on time this morning. So it's going to have to be two, which will be just fine. Okay. Hello. I'm sorry, uh, Katapiva. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but hello. Thank you for joining. And um, if you haven't watched me before, I'm generally live on Pentart um, once a month. I come on Pentart and then I usually am live twice a week on my own page at Teresa Renee Art. You can follow me there. Um, let me see if I can type it in oh, um let's see okay that's where you can follow me at so hopefully you can see that um so i would love it if you would consider joining me and following along my twice weekly lives it's usually twice week twice a week although last week it was once this week, I'm afraid it's only going to be once. With the kids starting school, it's been quite chaotic. Um, but we're hanging in there. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, last week with the new release, um, things have gotten a little bit crazy. So we do the best we can. Usually it's twice, but 
Sometimes it's only once, it just depends. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dry this and then we'll start working a little bit more. Okay. All right. So that gets the back kind of our background taken care of. Um, and it has made my cover a little bit thicker to work with. Um, I have gone ahead and I've casted some mold. So we're going to play around with a couple of things. Um, I was thinking maybe something like that. Uh, I want to get... Um, a little bit of stenciling on here with some modeling paste. Um, so I'm probably going to need to dry a little bit more. But before I do that, um, what I was thinking, because my piano on this sheet was really too big for this cover, I thought I would take one from like the little mini four pack. Um, here's our four packs. So I thought I would take one from the mini four pack and then just kind of layer it on here. And I think that would be pretty if it was slightly elevated with a frame. So I'm going to do that. So first I need to, and I'm, all I've done is just cut out a little piece of cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this little cardstock white. And then we'll get that decoupage on here as well. Um, so we're just doing a little just a little bit of mix, mixed media today. Nothing too complicated. Um, just kind of playing around with some new stuff. And of course, all of our Pentart basics. I'm using the white chalk paint here. Um, and then we'll get into a little bit of color and modeling paste in a moment. So... Let me go ahead and dry that. And then I'll continue drying this one while I'm at it. The chalk paint does dry really fast, so this is already dry. And I'm going to stick this image on here. And then I think what we'll do is we'll put a little cardstock or something behind it and raise it up. 
Um, and then if I have some dried flowers, which I don't on me at the moment, but I could always layer some little dried flowers behind it, which would be cute. All right, so let's get this one on here. So if you've joined, if you just joined, make sure to say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Always love coming on here and meeting people from all over the world. Such a fun, um, we always have such a nice group here. So let me know. Of course, if I know you already, then I probably already know where you're from. Mostly, um, sometimes I forget. All right, so get that on there. And then I'm, I'm ready to work on this little frame element as well. So before I do that though, let me get this modeling paste on here. I'm gonna use a new stencil. This is a new one from Decoupage Queen. This is our brick wall stencil. And I wanna just put um, a little bit of brick through a modeling paste, just really to add a little bit of more, a little bit more texture and interest. I would say, um, oops, excuse me. This paper and this project is going to have plenty going on, but um, it's always nice to to add some interesting touches. So let me, oh, that's a lot. All right, so this is modeling paste, um, and I'm just going to feed this right through this stencil here and kind of these blank, blank areas. I'm not covering up the piano keys. Um, I'm not going to cover those up but I am gonna go a little bit over here into some of these spots, just to add a little bit more depth, you guys. Let's see. All right, I'll peel that off. I don't think I need any down here because I'm gonna have that little framed element. Um, so just one moment while I take care of my stencil. I don't want that modeling paste to dry on here. So I'm gonna uh, dampen it and then put it off to the side so that I can come back and clean that later without ruining it. So let's see, there we go. All right, now let me, um, Go ahead and dry that now, and then we'll start painting some molds and stuff too. Hi, Jean. Thank you for joining. Hi, Lori. Thank you for joining. Now, while that's continuing to dry, let me start painting some of my molds. Um, this one's going to go down here. And I'm trying to decide what color I want to paint it. Um, let's start with some metallic. 
Let's see. Yes, that's always the challenge here, you guys, is what colors do I want? I know I want that one. Let me go. Let me do. I mean, there is a lot of blue in here, so we could play off of that some. But I'm thinking let's stay neutral. Let's stay. Oh, that's pretty. Let's stay neutral. This is um, mud gray. Let's come in with some mud gray. And then, of course, we are probably going to do um, this. Um, this is a new rice paper, Jean. This is called Lejeune Background. Okay. How's my sound? You said you have an echo. I hope you can hear me okay. Hey, Robin. Thank you for joining. Let me know how my sound is, guys. I've only ha I only have one instance of StreamYard open, so it should be okay. But I can play with some of the sound settings if I need to. Okay, and it could be because my microphone is over here. All right. So I'm using mud gray to paint this frame. And this is one of the new um, redesign frames. I don't know the name of it, but I thought it would be pretty cute on here. I love frame, little frames. Love, love, love. Okay, and then I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna put this violin, I'm probably gonna put that up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that too while I'm at it. Um, and then I'm gonna add some flourishes, but I'm not sure which one yet. Let's see, why don't we go ahead, why don't we go ahead and paint this one just in case since I have the mud gray out and we'll be ready. All right. These are um, the new, these ones up here are from the new IOD, the Dainty Flourishes. And you guys know, like I'll use, um, I will use any, anyone's molds. I don't get too hung up on molds. It's IOD gel. All right, and then this guy down here, uh, we're gonna need some brown. Let's get, um, let's get this one. Brass for the violin. A small brush, one that hasn't been used with wax before. And let's start painting that one with the brass. And then up here, we can paint this one with the brass. And this is like some sort of bow, I guess, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, that's the bow. Or that's the, uh, the top of this violin here. And this is the one down here. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what all this stuff on here is. This is music paper. So that's going to be more on the, let me, where does the flourish come from? Oh, okay, just answered that. All right, so here's music paper. Let's make that a little bit more 
delicate. And there's like some sort of banner swath there. Um, let's see what we got here. Okay, there's some greenery. I don't need to make this super detailed, just a little two-tone is fine. All right, so we'll stick that off to the side. We will stick that off to the side for now. And then let's see what we have here. Are we dry enough? All right, let's come in. I'm gonna come in with um, hazelnut to paint these bricks. And I'm gonna water this down just a touch. Let's see. Water down my hazelnut down here. Alternatively, I probably could have colored my um, modeling paste as well. I don't want to paint the whole thing because then it's all the same color. Um, and then I can come back in here with a little bit of wax as well. All right, Jean. Sorry about that. Just make sure you only have one open, one tab open. And then we can add a little dry brushing to this after as well. All right. All right, so Tuesday, beginning of the week, you guys. Pretty crazy. My kids already have a full schedule at school. My daughter's playing volleyball. So she's got her third game tonight, um, which is why I won't be going live tonight on my own page. Volleyball is like a full-time job now. Um, but, you know, I want my kids to pursue things that make them happy. All right. They actually won, so they played a game on Friday, which was like an hour and a half away, and they actually won. So they're super excited about that. Do I have any biscuits? <laughs> Hi, Tina. I don't have any biscuits. Um, Miriam, are you still on? Miriam, I haven't been up um, to check my mail. Uh, I saw you had asked last time I was live if I had gotten your package. Um, I need to go up there a little bit later and check my mail. So it probably has arrived, but I will watch for it, okay? I'm gonna go up there a little bit later today. Um, can I, when I do get it though, do I need to open it right away? Or do I need 
to um, can I wait until next time I'm live to open it? Let me know. All right. Because I like opening things on camera sometimes when I get Happy Meal. Okay, so I'm just painting the bricks with hazelnut um, and it's watered down. Watered down hazelnut. Just to get some color on there. Um, but art stuff, okay. All right, so if I wait till, if I open it, if it's there and I open it on Thursday, that should be okay, right? Uh, just want to make sure. Okay. All right. Okay, there we go. So that one is, we've got a base coat on there at least. Um, let me go ahead and get this guy sorted out. This is like uh, my little frame. And yes, I'm going to add a little bit of wax to that. But I'm going to pop him up some. I want to elevate it just slightly on there. So let me get him framed. And just use some heavy body gel and get that on there. I'm going to move these papers off to the side. I don't need them right at this moment. Um, the best way is with the Pentart Turpentine Cleaner. Camille, uh, Chameleon, Miriam. The Turpentine um, solvent product is the best thing I found. Um, however, I generally just use my finger or um, I have brushes that I consider disposable, like kind of student grade brushes. So I usually just um, use those. All right, so here's that. And that is framed nicely right there. All right, and I'm going to just elevate it ever so slightly with a thin piece of cardboard, you guys. One moment, please, while I gather one up. Well, let me see if I have anything nearby me that could be useful here. Let's see. I'm just going to use like a packing box. Just to give it a little bit of dimensionality. like super thick but all right so let's get this on here that one and then we'll get this one on here too There we go. And then we'll stick this to the back. We'll stick this where we want it to go. And I want that to go 
right there. So now if I have some little flowers, like if I come across some little dried flowers um, and I didn't have time to search through all my stuff today, but I could sort of tuck them behind here, which I think would be really cool. Okay, next, um, I'm gonna come up here again and now um, hit this with a dryer. And then let me clear and clean my space here. I got a, I got a little bit of a mess over here. over here. All right, now I'm going to take and do a little bit of dry brushing on here. Um, let this blend in a little bit more with my background. So just white. to mute down some of that hazelnut. So I didn't really want the brick to stand out that much. I just wanted um, a little bit more texture here. There we go, a little bit of dry brushing to knock that back a little bit um, before I add my, before I add that. And then this will go here. Bye, Mom. Love you, Love you too. All right, so that's there. And I think I do want to highlight this maybe with a little bit of wax before I add. So I'm kind of liking that element there. I'm kind of liking that here. All right, let's add some, how about some silver wax? No, let's do gold. Let's do gold. Let's see if that does anything for us. What if we did silver and gold? Let's do it with the silver now on it. It's subtle, so it might be difficult to see 
on camera. Very subtle. All right, and I need to paint this one more time as well. Let me get um let's see so all my little brushes that i have i have used them for um umber paste and there are, none of them are great for um painting paint this one more time We have some rogue pieces of resin. Okay. And now let's get this color, which is right here. Me too. So let me hit this with a dryer real fast and then we'll put a little bit of wax on there too. One thing I could do, um, and I think it'll be okay because I have, um, I think it'll be okay because I, I'm going to put this mold here, so, but I'm going to put a little bit of laser stain up in here and see if that helps bring out our stencil a little bit. So bear with me one moment while I try that. I'm just going to um, water this down a little bit. This is laser in... Um, uh, mm, mahogany? Walnut. This is laser and walnut. So it's like a stain. So it's just going to darken that a little bit. And then I want to take a brighter wax now. Maybe some white. And come over the tops of these with white. Let me dry it real fast first. Hi, Rima. Go. 
The problem is I painted them the same color, so I don't have any contrast now. So you can't really see the brick. So we're just trying to add a little bit more contrast between the brick and the background. I thought I wanted it subtle, but now I didn't like it when it was too subtle. So that's better. At least you can kind of see it now. No worries, Rima. All right, so that's going to go there, I think. Uh, first, I'm going to get, now I need to decide if I want to do like, um want this here so i guess i have to decide if i want to do um what color wax i want to do if i want to just kind of dry brush these maybe with white or if i want to do some metallic wax i'm not really sure why don't we hmm why don't we start with dry brushing and then if we decide we want to do wax over the top of it, we can. Let's do a little bit of dry brushing here just to age it back a little bit. You guys know I love my shabby chic stuff. So... So that's just making it look a little, a touch aged and not so boring, which I like. And I don't, you know, I love my metallics, but I'm really trying hard um, to do other things besides always adding metallic waxes <laughs> uh, as finishing techniques. I could even maybe add, I like that. Like, I think that's elegant and kind of simple. And then if I do it over here too, like it, it's not dominating, you know, and then I could always add like little touches. Um, little touches here and there. The other thing you could do is like, we could put some little, well, kind of like that. Like we could put some little stuff behind our things. Um, take a breath. This is a good reminder for school, huh? Take a breath. What do you think of that? I kind of like that with the little lace behind it. I'm not going to glue it down until y'all tell me what you think, though. And then we can um, age this back a little bit with some dry brushing. Mm. I don't know. That one's not doing too much for me. Let's put some, let's do some silver wax on this one. I think I'm going to put, I am going to do a little bit of silver wax too over the top here. So my son, um, who has never played any musical instruments before, 
this year he's going to be learning cello at school. They all had to pick an instrument. And he said he was between viol violin and cello. And since he had an interest in cello, nobody else wanted it. So he gets to do the cello this year. So that'll be fun. What would be cool is if I had like a little sprig of roses, just like this, like three dimensional that I could tuck behind there, but I don't. All right, let me, I'm gonna cut this. Tuck that behind there. What do you guys think with or without the lace? Do we like the lace or not? You'll let me know what you think. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down. You feel like the lace is too clean. It would be better if it was a little dirtier, huh? Like more stained. Let's do it without the lace. I don't think it needs it necessarily. All right. All right, let's stick this down. Let's stick this guy down. And then we'll stick this guy down too. So yeah, a little something fun and different for back to school. Uh, I will let you know, I'm gonna offer this to one of my kids and I will let you know if one of them takes me up on it, on using it for school. I mean, it doesn't say they're not allowed to have decorated notebooks. So we figure why not try and see, right? All right, so of course, uh, once their friends see it, they're gonna all want decorated notebooks. So I kind of, I do like this um, take a breath so we could put that here so y'all let me know where you think. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm liking the idea. So we could put it here. So this is option one down here. Option two is right here. Option three is up here. Let me know if you, if you go one, two, or three. I kind of like it on the frame too. Take a breath right there. And then what I need to do is because this um, notebook is still a little bit wet, it's wanting to pop up a little bit. So I'm gonna have to put some weight on these so that they dry flush to the surface. So that's what I'm going to have to do. So y'all are saying, option. some people are saying option three. All right. Well, let's do option three then, because I got more votes for option three than I have for option number two. So we're going to stick that on there. Um, and now I need to go to Hobby Lobby and try to find some dried flowers. There we go. Take a breath, which is perfect for music, right? Because music is all about sometimes 
with the woodwind instruments. It's all about all about the breathing and the rhythmic pacing. Take a breath. There we go. You guys, I think that is going to do us for today. Uh, simple but cute back to school project. Um, you could do this in under an hour for sure at home. Do it with your kids even. Y'all, and we are ending five minutes early. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm usually right up until the last minute. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will share a picture of my finished project um, as soon as I can, and we will see you next time. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.